Welcome to the Pirate Handyman, where we teach you how you can save coin. Today what we're going to be talking about is the refrigerator, otherwise known as the home art display. Now, as you know, what we do is we try to give you tips that can help save you money, um, help make things last longer, and if you kind of dig what we're doing, hit that subscribe button down below. And if you hit the notification bell, you'll get notified anytime a new video drops. Because anytime a new video drops, it's going to help you save coin for your treasure chest. So today what we're going to talk about is how to maintain your refrigerator. It's fairly easy to do. Uh, what we're going to do is clean the coils. Now the coils can exist either underneath the refrigerator, like in this model, or they can be on the back. Uh, and if they're on the back, of course, you'd have to pull the refrigerator out. But what we're going to do here is we're going to take um, the vent plate off and we'll look underneath there and see how dirty it's gotten. And what we're going to do is just use a, a vacuum and a duster to get the dust off of there. And again, it doesn't take very long, but what it'll do is it'll help your refrigerator run more efficiently. And like we've talked about with other appliances, if it runs more efficiently, it's going to save you money on your energy bill. And it's also going to help it last longer because it doesn't have to work as hard. So let's get underneath here. All right, so what we're looking at here is we've already taken off um, the vent that is on the front and we're going to wipe that down, get all the dust off of it so that air can flow in there better. And as you can see, this is incredibly dirty. Now, I've done this on purpose because I knew 12 years ago that I was going to be showing people this, so that's why I've never cleaned it. <laughs> the coils, you can see, are back here. And as you can see, there's all kinds of dust. So the first thing we're going to do is get our shop vac and go back in there and get as much of that dust out of there as we can. So if you don't have a shop vac or a tank vacuum cleaner, uh, usually an upright vacuum is going to have an upholstery cleaner uh, and you can use the upholstery cleaner. You just take the attachment off so you're just using uh, the tube itself. Alright, so now that I've, uh, I've vacuumed out as much as I can get, you can see there's still a lot of stuff in there. So what I'm going to do now is I've reversed the vacuum and put it on blower mode, and now I'm going to blow everything out of there that I can. Now one more time with the vacuum. Now it's not quite perfect. Um, there's some other tools that you could use. Um, you know, smaller feather dusters to get in there. Um, if you have a long, skinny attachment that'll go on the end of the uh, hose on the uh, vacuum cleaner that'll get more of it out. Uh, I'll follow up and do that on this one later. But that's pretty much all you need to do. So again, we did uh, <clears throat> what we just did was clean the coils that are underneath the refrigerator. If the coils are on the back of your refrigerator, you're going to do the same thing. A little easier to get to them back there. So we hope you uh, dig what we're doing here. Uh, if you like it and you have any questions, um, put them in the comments below. Otherwise, hit that subscribe button, and if you hit the notification bell, anytime a new video drops, it'll help you save coin for your treasure chest. You'll be notified. Thanks for sailing with us. All right, welcome to the Pirate Handyman. How y'all doing today? I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs>